everybody, welcome back to Mojo Grip. Mike here. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, uh, today we're flying out of Virginia. Um, if you've been following, I've been in Virginia for about two weeks um, to uh, to do my my instrument rating. And today we've made a lot of progress. Uh, to the point of, I'm actually, I feel ready for check ride, but uh, I've got to go home for the holidays. If you're watching this, depending on when this uh, video comes out, um, it's, it's getting close to the Christmas time, at least a few weeks. So, got to go home. Um, but the plan is to basically come back and do my check ride. I feel good. There's been so much learned uh, not just about flying and becoming a pilot but also um, just about this airplane uh, I feel like I've fallen in love more with this plane brakes work don't mind me here I'm just doing sort of my instrument checklist here um, I've learned so much about this airplane fallen more in love with this airplane and also so much about my avionics and how to properly use them so just a lot of learning this last couple of weeks and let me change my backlight here good all right i'm uh, just gonna pull up right now to do our run-up gonna be taking off from one uh runway 28 which is this runway right here We've got some cloud we're closer this is basically a coastal area and this is this is very uh common with you know coastal areas in the morning you get clouds set in but they clear out so today we're not flying high and it says that the clouds are about 9500 we're not even going to get anywhere close to that but Together, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly do my checklist here. So, stay tuned. Remember, 661 Mike Golf is holding short runway 2A for a straight out departure. Have to road. All right, how do we look on the right? Right is good. No traffic on this end. And today, I'm also gonna stop practicing, like taking off as if I'm taking off of an instrument. Uh, take off here. Hampton Roads 661 Mike Golf is taking runway 28 straight out departure Hampton Roads. So basically a line, getting a straight line, building some uh, muscle memory here. All right, we have 28. Let's go. Airspeed's alive. We're getting pushed a little bit. There we go. Up, 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 up. Our climb going. Alright. About 500 feet. Flaps up. Uh, Our engine screen looks good. Hamster 661 my dog is now up one to runway 800 climb Hamster. Alright. It's all map screen here. Thousand feet. Let's go left. Hip it here. Lower that nose. Right here is good. Keep our climb going. See some towers right to our right side here. Always want to avoid that. Uh, when I get to my cruise altitude, I will give departure a call. And throw 661 my off now. Three miles west of the airport, 2,500 climbing. Alright guys, we're still climbing, doing about 1500 feet a minute. That's what I love about this plane, it just, that turbo is so, 
just kicking in. You know, it's no dull moment. Uh, I'm at 3.5 now, a thousand to go. 1,500 feet a minute. All right, let's lower that nose. Power back. Better right here. We got a good, not a good, but crazy bit of headwind today. Down. All right, I'm gonna kick my autopilot in now. Autopilot now. Altitude, everything is set. And I'll go ahead, set up the airplane properly. It's descending a little bit because I climbed a tidbit here. Departure November 661, Mike off request. Number 661, Mike off, sir, request. Uh, 661, Mike off, just uh, departed Hampton Road, it's about three miles west, 4,500. We'd like to get flight following to KINT. Six six one, I just come around Mike Golf. Sorry, six six one, Mike Golf. Six six one, Mike Golf. Roger and stay at that aircraft. Sierra Lima Golf. Experimental Slink Four. Get ready to copy here. Near forty ninety seven, a departure radar contact. Uh, climb maintain seven thousand. My pen. 2009 contact approach 19.45. 661 Mike Golf Squawk 2130. 2130 for one Mike Golf. Endeavor 4897 turn right heading 280. 661 uh, Mike Golf Radar contact 7 miles west of Hampton Rose. Uh, summer 3011. 3011. One Mike Golf. One Mike Golf in contact approach 119.45. 119.45 for one Mike Golf. Alright, switch over now. Approach your morning, 661 Mike Golf, switch to 4500. 661 Mike Golf, Norfolk Approach, Roger, Norfolk Golf, coming to 3011. 3011, oh my god. Never 4897, Norfolk Approach, you check in. Never 4897, but 7000 heading 280. Never 4897, Roger, climb maintained 16000. One six thousand there, forty eight ninety seven. One Mike Alpha looks like you have uh, traffic just behind you now. That's uh, two thousand eight hundred indicated Pierce Westbound. Roger. Uh, I was requesting flight following to uh, K I and T. I was just passed over to you, one Mike Alpha. There were forty eight ninety seven and turn twenty years right. Twenty right, there were forty eight ninety seven. Okay, uh, a lot happening, that's why I can't talk to you. Uh, but right now we are at our cruise altitude and we're cruising along <laughs> at an exceptional 98 knots. Uh, crazy headwind today guys. Um, my indicated airspeed right now is 130 knots. Um, I'm doing about 140 true and I'm only covering 94 knots on the ground because got a good change of uh, of headwind here. That's what happens when you're traveling west. Uh, you get a headwind, man. So we uh, we're about an hour fifty minutes out from our destination. If I were to climb higher, I'm just gonna get more headwind, and if I climb lower, I may lose one or two knots of headwind but just the all around picture is I'm, I need altitude on my on my side whenever you're traveling especially long distance um, you want to have some altitude just in case uh, you run into trouble so 4-5 is a good bet for me so I'm going to remain here even though I'm, I'm only covering uh, about 94 knots here oh, the good news is it's a sling so I'm barely burning seven gallons, so I'm at 7.4 gallons an hour. Uh, 7.4 uh, 7 gallons of fuel per hour is about what I'm burning right now. Uh, so, that's all good.
But guys, as I was saying, um, it's been an interesting last two weeks. Um, what I enrolled into is more of what you call an accelerated program for flight training. And I'm lucky enough that I have access to friends and people who can help me out, you know, with this stuff. So for the last two weeks, I've basically um, been flying two days, I mean two, two times a day. Uh, these are pretty, like, you know, up and ready, go, go, go. But the thing is, flying is very enjoyable once you're once you're like this where you have your license already um, but when you're learning it's a lot it's a lot it, it can overwhelm you sometimes but it also Golf contact Washington Center 132.022 the 132.022 for one oh my golf approach good morning 661 my golf is with you for 1500 all right so when I uh, affirm that they have me before I get back to talking to you. Anyway, while they take their time to answer, so as I was explaining to you, um, you know, when here. Four eight, break your forty nine seventy six. Take care. Hold on. When uh, when you're learning, it's a different ball game. It can be fun, but understand that you're you're doing a lot and you're you're taking in a lot. Um, but man, I have learned so much <laughs> this last two weeks, man, that I, I feel just more confident as a pilot, um, knowledge-wise and skill-wise. Three five zero four nine hundred. And the fact that I, I now I know my instruments, been in my avionics so much more, and certain things I didn't even know existed with this panel. Uh, These are great tools, great safety tools um, that I've learned how to use. And so I, I'm really excited, uh, you know, to be on this journey. And I've also learned so much about this airplane. It's crazy. Like, you know, I feel like I fell in love with this plane a few years ago before I even uh, became a pilot and owner. Um, but just to this flying instrument in it and learning just certain characteristics about the airplane makes me love it even more. Like this plane. It's just, it's hard for me to compare it, honestly, uh, to anything else out there when, when we're doing comparisons. It really is an all-around airplane, uh, built well, economical, and safe. Safe to fly. Um, I just, I wish it was certified, and I wish, you know, folks didn't have to wait uh, months or a year to, to get their hands or be able to fly one of these. Um, it, re it truly is a great plane, and honestly, anyone considering a four-seater uh, and you're looking for something economical, something you can actually take on real cross-country, for me, 99% of my flight, of my mission is cross-country. I've never really flown, I fly local sometimes, but this plane really is a tool for me. I When I get up, I'm out of state. 99% of the time, just like I, I'm doing right now, I'm going from one state to another. And then once I get to my destination tomorrow, same thing, picking up, going from one state to um, and back home to Atlanta, which is in a different state. So, you know, it truly has been a great tool for me and, and the work that I do. And it's, you know, obviously I'm biased because I fly one of these and I also help build and sell them. Um, and speaking of, right now we've got about three or four spots left uh, for our build assist uh, at Lookup Aviation. So, if you're looking to get into a Sling TSI, uh, lead time right now is about seven to eight months. Uh, but the sooner you get in, obviously, the better. And we've got about three to four slots left for 2022. So, if you want to get into this plane sooner, you, you want to give us a call now uh, and get in. And you're not paying like full price, obviously. Uh, it's not it's not a ready built plane, so you just you basically make a deposit uh, to save your spot, and then we'll we'll take you in from from that point on. Uh, but for more information, you can, Flight level two four zero. You can uh, give us a call or just email me directly, Mike at lookupaviation.com. Nine eighty four day you at twenty six twenty four. So it all it all works out. But yeah, man, I. 
I've learned so much about flying this airplane and, and much more about its capabilities that you know I, I just feel comfortable um, and I, I feel I feel like a more confident pilot and given that <laughs> the plane really makes it easy for you you know I, I don't like this right now look this is my hands I am hands free autopilot is the doing all the work for me um, but whenever I need to fly the plane myself I'm just as confident to to take the, my plane back from autopilot and uh, take it wherever I need to uh, but it, it truly is a all-around airplane and uh, just a beautiful plane to fly but anyway uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the flight I, I feel I feel great it's a, it's a beautiful day to fly today um, and right now we're about an hour 40 minutes out and that headwind is killing killing the speed here uh, normally Richmond Airport down near coming here for example I was doing 160 knots easy whereas now I'm doing the opposite so I'm covering the plane 95 to 98 knots on the ground anyway hope you guys stay on stay tuned for the flight I'm gonna give you a nice screenshot now of my uh, performance data so you guys see that I'm telling the truth so right now this is where we are you can see uh, it's smooth air, so I have about 133 indicated, uh, 142 true, and covering about 100 knots on the ground. And here my power setting, 77%, 35 inches of, or 36 inches of manifold pressure, and I've, I'm only run, running uh, 7.6 gallons of fuel per hour. Oh, and something cool I guess I should show you guys. I, I, Maine, Mike Alpha, November Golf Echo, and Bendrick Johoff, Rest Route Unchained. So, if you look here, this is my uh, new Garmin Glide. A smart glide in action. This is a ring that gives me a... Uh, Based on my performance, it, it tells me, okay, this is about how far I could travel within that ring if I were to lose my engine. And normally if there's an airport, it would, it would like point to it for me. And to activate this feature, I just hold this direct button and it communicates with my autopilot here. And literally my autopilot can fly me to the safest uh, destination without me having to do much. Basically, uh, it's a, it reduces the workload uh, for me uh, in case I get in trouble. So that's Smart Glide for you. It's a beautiful feature uh, to use. And normally, I always set that screen to traffic, but as a VFR pilot, I'm also looking out the window uh, to scan for traffic myself. And I've got my uh, Garmin G5 back up here. All, all beautiful safety tools. Gentlemen, we are now 20 minutes out, well, 19 minutes out from uh, Winston Salem Airport. Uh, smooth sailing so far. And, uh, sorry, I had my second radio. That was for Victor Julia. Fernando Victor Julia, affirmative. Uh, we've been cruising along at about 105 knots. Not bad. That's a crazy headwind today. We're going to start our descent shortly. So, about 10 minutes out, we'll descend down to, say, 2.5 or 3,000 feet. 
And then we'll transition uh, over as soon as I have Winston Cell on the side. Getting close here. Uh, we're going to be entering a Clash Charlie shortly. Winston Salem Airport should be right behind. I don't know if you guys can see it, but they're towers. So that's my visual reference. I know it's like right behind a set of like city towers. I can see it like in the mist. It's, it's a little blurry from here, but it should be right behind those towers if I'm correct. But uh, we'll see as, uh, as we get closer here. And I'm gonna be somewhat perpendicular to runway 33. What I'm hoping is I get runway 22, which has favorable winds today. Um, I don't want to have to deal with crosswind landing. If I get 33, I guess I have to practice my crosswind landing. Um, but we're gonna get ready to start uh, descent in about three to five minutes here. Winston Tower, good afternoon, November 661 my golf, six miles east of the airport, 3,000, descending inbound with Tango. Number 661 Mike Golf, Winston Tower, uh, mm, uh, runway 22, you're cleared to land. Runway 22, clear to land, one my Golf. Now the wind currently 230 at Niner, gust 16. Roger that. Today's 560 November, Winston Tower, runway 33, taxi via Foxtrot and Alpha, hold short, runway 422. Bird right there. Traffic. I see it. It's on the ground. Thank you. All right, let's slow down. Keep that uh, speed. One Lima, uh, one Mike Golf, say uh, parking. Signature, one Mike Golf. Number one Mike Golf, Roger, turn right on Juliet, taxi to signature, remain this frequency. Right on Juliet, uh, the signature will remain with you, one Mike Golf. 